Oh, hey, simplifiers! Welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In today's video, we are going to compute NetPay this time in Java. So, let's simplify. Employees of JV and Sans Consultant Limited are paid on an hourly basis at the end of every week. If an employee works for no more than 40 hours a week, it is considered regular, and over time for hours worked in excess of 40. Regular hours are paid at 500 cities and 550 cities per hour for males and females respectively, while the overtime rate is one and a half times the regular rate per hour for the different sexes. All employees are to pay 15% of their gross pay as income tax, 2.5% as national health contribution levy, 1% as district tax. Employees who have more than 3 children are to pay 10 and 20 cities per child in excess of 3 towards educational fund for all males and females respectively. Device a computer solution that can be used to compute or calculate the net pay of a employees. Because we've gone through this algorithm and this same question in C++, I'm just going to leave it out to you to skim through. The link to the video in C++ is going to be in the description down below. So let's just skim through the algorithm. This is the continuation of it. Right off the bat, let's go straight to our code in Java. Because we'll be taking inputs from the user, I am going to import the Java utility scanner. Now in my main class, I'm going to call the main function public static void main and declare string array as its argument. Now to take the input from the user, I'm going to declare scanner an object scanner of the class scan. so you can see scanner scanner equals new scanner and because i'll be taking the input from the terminal i'm going to say system in i mean from the system now i'm going to ask to the user to enter the number of hours worked now the moment the user enters the number of hours worked via the terminal i'm going to scan the terminal for a double value and then stop it in this variable here called hours worked again i will output the enter number of children and the moment the user enters the number of children i'm going to scan the terminal for an integer value and then store it in number of children and then from there i'll come here again and then output to the user enter gender and when the user enters a string value for the gender that is either male or female i'm going to store it in this string variable called employee gender now the moment the, the reason why you see scanner.next line here is because of a buffer Anytime an integer comes after a string, there is something called a buffer. That means the moment the user ends the integer value and punches enter on the keyboard, that enter is going to enter the string variable instead of the, the, the variable or the value you actually want. So we want that enter to enter this scanner.next line here so that we can actually get the gender the user will enter in this employee gender here. We don't want it. We don't want the enter to enter employee gender, but we want that enter that, that buffer to enter scanner.next line. So we can just we can just get the male or female in this employee gender over here. If you have more questions for this, you can ask this in the comment section. Now to set our constants, we know that the regular the regular rate for the males is 500 and for the females is 550. And for the overtime, it's 1.5 and 1.5 of each of their regular rates. Now to compute for our gross pay, we are going to declare a variable called a double variable called gross pay. We are going to say that if the employee's gender is equal to male, then if the hours work is less than or equal to 40, then this is the gross pay. Else, the gross pay should be the hours work during the regular hours plus the, the work the user did during the overtime. So you see the overtime rate for the meals times the hours work minus 40. That means in excess of 40, you are going to pay the employee for that. Now we say else, this else goes with the gender. That means if the gender is female now, and that if that female gender is working less than or equal to 40, then this should be the gross pay. Else, you are going to pay their employee, this female employee for the regular hours work plus the overtime work that they did, which is the overtime rate for the females times the hours work minus 40. Now that we have our gross pay, we can compute for our taxes. And we know they are all percentages of the gross pay. Now to find our edu fund, we are going to declare a variable called double edu fund. And we are going to set our if statements. 
which is if the number of children is greater than three and the employee is a male, then the edu fund should be 10 cities of the number of children in excess of three. That means the number of children minus three. Else, that means if the employee is a female, then the employee is going to pay 20 cities in excess of the number of children, which is three. I'm going to say else. This else means that if the number of children is not greater than three, then that employee is going to pay nothing towards the educational fund. Now that we have all our taxes and our gross pay, we can actually compute for our net pay. So we say the net pay is gross pay minus all. So we can see that the net pay is the gross pay minus all the taxes added together or summed together. That's how we get our net pay. Now, now, knowing our net pay and knowing all our taxes, we can actually print them out. So we want to leave a pay that is print lean, and then we print our gross pay, print our income tax, print our NHI levy, our district edu fund, and then the net pay. Now, this scanner dot close here means that we want to lose the scanner because we don't want any memory leaks. All right, now that we have this, let's run our code to see how it goes. So the number of hours worked, I entered 67. Number of children, I have seven kids, and then the gender, I entered male. So you see that this is our gross pay, this is our income tax, our NHI levy, our district tax, our educational fund contribution, and then finally, this is our net pay. All right, friends, that's it for the video. Please be reminded that a lot of work goes into making these videos, and therefore, you should show some appreciation because these videos are all out for free. So make sure you show some appreciation by hitting the like and subscribe button to keep this channel running. Until next time, apatia.